Ever pondered about the origins of Satan? How did he come into existence? The Bible narrates the awe-inspiring display of God's power in the creation of the universe, the formation of humans in God's image, and the establishment of the Garden of Eden. Everything seems harmonious until Genesis 3, where an evil character, referred to as the serpent, Satan, or the devil, appears out of nowhere, disrupting God's plan and humanity. You might be wondering, where did this guy come from? There's no mention of him in Genesis chapters 1 or 2. Suddenly, this talking serpent appears and starts conversing with Eve. What's happening here? Genesis chapters 1 and 2 primarily focus on the creation of mankind and the world, including the heavens, the earth, light, darkness, the seas, land, plants, animals, and finally humans. There's no specific mention of the origin of Satan, or Lucifer as he was originally known. His backstory is scattered throughout various parts of the Bible, requiring piecing together passages from different books to gain a fuller understanding of his story and origins. Satan didn't start out as Satan. He was first a beautiful, loyal, and devoted Lucifer, an angelic servant of God. Lucifer, now Satan, was perfect at creation. So, what happened to him? To understand the origin of Satan, we need to look at the composition of God's original angelic hosts. Colossians 1 verse 16 says, For by him, that is Christ, all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by him and for him. This verse acknowledges that all things, including the invisible spiritual realm, which would include angels and other spiritual beings, were created by Christ. This means that Jesus Christ is not just a part of creation, he is the active agent in creation. Ezekiel 28 verses 12 to 17 provides a lament concerning the king of Tyre but is actually speaking of the original state of Satan, Lucifer. This passage shows that Lucifer, who later became Satan, was originally created to be perfect. He was the seal of perfection, full of wisdom, and the most beautiful being that God had ever created. Ezekiel also told us that Satan was present in the Garden of Eden. Isaiah 14 verses 12 to 15 provides additional details of the origin of Satan and how he fell from the grace of God. It says, How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. You have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. This passage shows that Satan fell because of his pride and the corruption of his wisdom. So, where did Satan come from? He was originally Lucifer, a guardian cherub, and a beautiful angel among the angelic host created by God before he created the universe. Satan came from the Mount of God. He was at Eden, the Garden of God, when God placed Adam and Eve there. After he abused that privilege, he lost all access. Satan fell because of his pride and the corruption of his wisdom. Thank you for watching God bless you amen.